Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Welcome, everyone. I'm Jordan Sharp. There's a huge Game 5 on Tuesday night between the Clippers and the Thunder heading back to Oklahoma City. And after the, the uh, Clippers stole Game 4 out from under the Thunder, after the Thunder had a huge 20-point lead in the first half of that game, OKC now is a 5.5-point home favorite with a total of 212.5. Now, Thunder choked. That much was obvious. But the Clippers did a very good job of coming back as well. But I think the Thunder played a lot better than what the uh, end result of that game shows, obviously. And uh, if they can continue the way their defense has been playing, uh, throughout the last couple of games of the series. I think they they will end up winning this series eventually, but who knows now. Now that it's tied, it's probably going to go seven games. But that could have given some confidence to the Clippers, but uh, heading back, uh, heading into Oklahoma City with a Thunder defense playing a little bit better now, I don't think their offensive upside is, right, is there right now. And uh, well, what's really huge in game number four is the fact that Oklahoma City was pretty much doubling Blake Griffin every time he got the ball. It was, very, it was frustrating greatly. It really uh, limited his ability to pass out of it, which is something that apparently his game has not evolved greatly into yet passing out of the double team. He got into foul trouble in that game, out of frustration for the most part, had a couple of really bad fouls. Uh, could have been questionable calls as well. But either way, now that the Thunder defense has been playing better, they've cashed the under in this series two out of the last three games, and now the under's dropped to 212 and a half from 215 just recently. But even though it is dropped about two and a half points, I think under 212 and a half is still a very good value between these two teams heading back to Oklahoma City. As long as Oklahoma City continues to frustrate Griffin on the offense, on his offensive end, uh, double teaming him, um, uh, not allowing him to pass out of the double team, forcing him to take bad shots, I think that's going to play a, a very good role in adding to the undervalue here in this game because when the, the Clippers are not getting easy baskets down low with Blake Griffin in the post, when they're not getting those fast break opportunities off thunder misses, and when they're not uh, getting those turnovers and, and offensive rebounds either, their offensive upside is very, very limited. We think of this team as a very good offensive team, but the Thunder have now kind of exploited them in a way that if they do, if they don't allow them to turn if they don't allow them to get a ton of misses off bad shots they don't turn the ball over don't allow them to crash the boards too much they really limit their offensive upside and this, te this team turns from 110 point team to barely a hundred point team and if that's the case here heading back to Oklahoma City in this pivotal game I think the under 212 and a half should be a very very good play here despite the uh, despite the total being a few points lower than what it was in Game Four so add under 212 and a half to this tied series here to your NBA picks. Best of luck to you on this one. Make sure if there's still time, check out my other play tonight as well. Game five between the Wizards and the Pacers this evening from Bankers Life Fieldhouse. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of The Sharp Pick.